Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Now in this video we're going to be looking at the Zimmer board running Windows 10 and we're going to just play a couple of games on it. So there's Counter-Strike Source and Counter-Strike Go. Uh, these are just two games that I thought, um, there's like an older one which is Counter-Strike Source and there's the newer one which is Counter-Strike Go and this will just get, give us a bit of a feel for how well the Zimmer board works. Um, and also we'll just look at how well it just runs Windows, right? Uh, so it's just Windows 10. And the idea is just to put the, the board through its paces, right? We're not looking for it to be flawless. And we just, we, when we have no expectations, we just want to see how it works, right? Um, because it is an x86, 64 bit kind of base board, uh, running the arch that architecture, sorry. And let's have a play around, right? We can't really do this with the Raspberry Pis. Now I know there's a ARM version or something of Windows, but we're using, and if the the 64-bit version of Windows, and we just kind of see how well the Zimmer board works. So yeah, um, some quick notes already. I have seen some thermal throttling uh, when installing just games on Steam. So when I installed those two games, it thermal throttled, and um, it took yeah for some weird reason I seen the the installer just drop to um, like zero megabits a second and just went to zero and then it kind of spiked back so i don't know what that was about but that's okay so again to better showcase this as well i'm going to record the actual computer screen uh so you can see it running from the real perspective i will also try to get obs getting some kind of screen grabs as well but you know obs is going to uh, take up some of that resources uh and it might affect the quality so we'll try to pair it up i'll try to get a, a good mixture of both but uh let's jump to the screen and see how we go right so here we are this is uh everything running so as you can see here we've got we've got task manager open here i do actually have obs open so let's just close that for now um and we can see we're using let's see if this drops down a bit um 14 percent six percent 8% of the CPU, so just around that range, 34% uh, of the memory, uh, Steam is kind of using that, and we have our games installed, so again, like I said, we have Counter-Strike Source and Global Offense. So let's start with the newer one, so let's start with Global Offense, and we'll just see how well this runs. Okay, we're in. Now, the sound is very choppy, and everything looks like it's a really bad frame rate so let me just open up and get a fr uh, fps counter going right I've just turn the sound down a bit so let's try to change some of this video okay it's see everything to high actually so um let's just set things to medium how about that let's go i don't know let's go very low let's just drop everything to the lowest possible right so we're not getting the <laughs> <laughs> we're getting like 21 frames a second uh again i don't know if you can see but about 21 <laughs> frames per second in the main menu so <laughs> it's not looking good let's have a look right let's um change this to practice with bots uh dust two go and see how well this goes so you can see why i didn't want to record with obs because uh, as soon as you record with obs we lose even more frames so yeah but we'll see how well this loads and then we'll, we'll play Counter-Strike Source and then we'll see how well that goes. All right. Let's play Counter-Terrorists. Oh, yes. I love that frame rate. That's great. Okay. Let's try to buy something. Oh, I can't buy a rifle yet. All right. Let's just get... All right. So we'll just... Okay. We can't get anything. That's fine. Let's just... Oh, yes. Six frames a second. Beautiful. All right. Oh. No frames a second. This is this is fine. Yep, this is. I'm sure people. Oh, this. If we can get a kill, that'd be great. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, we got two kills. Nice. Oh, why are they just standing there? Oh, the frame rate kind of improved. Oh, there's a guy right there. There we go. I won. Getting 18 frames a second. <laughs> Let's just play one more round, um, and we'll see how well this goes. I think it kind of is kind of smoothing up a little bit. Like when I say smooth, it's still running at like 17 frames a second, but it's. Oh, and it's definitely not playable. <laughs> this is 
terrible, but... Oh my god, they're just stockpiling. Why are they just standing there? I don't know. Anyway, let's grab a gun. Thank you. Oh. There we go. Right. So, playable? No. Um, you're getting about 20 frames a second, and that's on the lower settings possible, so... I'm just going to quit now. And then let's try Source, um, which is a an older version of Counter-Strike. To be fair, I could have also dropped the um, display because it was playing at probably at 1920 by 1080. So let's also change that though. So change it to 1920 by 1080. Apply. And then we can also drop the quality. It was a bit, probably a bit of an unfair test, but that's fine. On the uh, CSGO by running it on full resolution. But you can see here in the main menu, we're getting, what, 192 frames per second. Right, um, let's, uh, can I just play with bots, is that a thing? Alright, we're getting 53 frames per second. Uh, rifles, oh, I don't have much money, can I get an SMG? No, we're too poor, okay, that's fine. Alright, we're getting 54 frames, 48, that's fine. Oh, I don't know how to really play this map, but that's fine. We can, actually, we're getting the 60 frames per second. That's pretty good. Oh. Nice. Oh. Oh. Another guy. I can't. There's no sound, so. Oh, there he is. What the? How many times do I have to shoot him? There's one more bot alive. I don't know if you can see that in the top, so let me just show you. So you can see there. Getting about, yeah, 56, 55, and it drops up to 60 as well. Alright, we've got three minutes. Let's go find this. Alright, let's take the sausages. I'll just take them myself. And oh, he's found the terrorists. There we go. Look at that. We've won. Cool. So let's. Yeah, so this is a reason why I can't really record with OBS, but you see that? It's using up like pretty much all of the CPU just trying to record. Uh, so that is why I have to record my screen. Or I have to get a screen capture device, which I should probably get, but. Yeah, so that was a a bit of a just a fun experiment really with the Zimmer board just to see how well it would play some games um, on Windows. I'm going to blow away Windows and I'm going to install, um, I don't know what I'm going to install on it yet. Probably just install TrueNAS or something back on it. But yeah, it was it was fun to, to have a play around with and just see how well it would work. So I think this would be fine as a everyday home kind of computer to use right if you're just doing web browsing and stuff it would be fine or even basic if you were into like retro games or just older class games the zimmer board would be fine a few weird things though just like like thermal throttling on installs that was a bit strange um but besides that it, it held up fine now windows is just a resource hog to be honest like if if you're going to use a single board computer i wouldn't recommend windows i would recommend using linux all the way just because Linux is lightweight and you can then prioritize the resources that the Zimbal board has for the services you want to run rather than Windows taking up if, like, I don't know, 40% of the resources straight away before you can even use anything. So yeah, anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video just playing around with how it um, runs some games and runs Windows. But yeah, I uh, hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.